2011 15-inch MacBook Pro DVD drive replacement. Remove 7 Phillips head screws starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. These are the shorter screws. Now remove the 3 long Phillips head screws. Those 10 screws will release the cover. Go ahead and lift it and remove it. Disconnect the battery before we begin. DVD driver removal. Begin by disconnecting the Wi-Fi cable. You can now disconnect the EyeSight cable as well. Remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the Wi-Fi card bracket. Push the bracket over to the side. This will give us access to the three screws that are securing the DVD drive. Remove those three screws. Disconnect the drive from the logic board. Lift it up and remove it out of the socket. We'll need to transfer the SATA connector and the rear screw bracket to the new drive. DVD drive installation. Insert the drive in at an angle. Drop it into the socket. Connect the drive to the logic board. Secure the three Phillips head DVD drive screws. Place the bracket back into position and secure it with the two Phillips head screws, the short one on the right and the long one on the left. Connect the Wi-Fi cable, now the EyeSight cable. Reconnect the battery. Place the cover back. Install the three long Phillips head screws first. Starting in the top right corner, going left. Now install the seven short Phillips head screws, starting in the top left corner and going around the contour of the MacBook. <laughs> 